The president was quick to react to a 60 Minutes interview with Andrew McCabe, the former deputy director of the FBI. In it, Ms. McCabe describes to Scott Pelley why he was so concerned in a meeting with the president after FBI Director James Comey was fired in May of 2017. Here's Paula Reed. I was speaking to the man who had just run for the presidency and, and, and won the election for the presidency and who might have done so with the aid of the government of Russia, our most formidable adversary on the world stage. And that was something that troubled me greatly. McCabe says days later, he opened criminal and counterintelligence investigations into the president. I wanted to make sure that our case was on solid ground. And if somebody came in behind me and closed it and tried to walk away from it, they would not be able to do that without creating a record of why they'd made that decision. McCabe told 60 Minutes correspondent record. Scott That's Pelley right, that, that following Comey's firing, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein brought up the 25th Amendment which gives the majority of the cabinet and vice president the power to remove the president from office. McCabe says he was also part of discussions with the deputy attorney general when McCabe says Rosenstein offered to wear a wire inside the White House. In the interview, McCabe says the proposal was so serious, he took it to the general counsel of the FBI. In a statement, the Justice Department said Rosenstein never authorized a wire, although it does not deny it was discussed. Today, the president punched back on Twitter, writing, McCabe is a disgrace to the FBI and a disgrace to our country. In Poland, Vice President Mike Pence called the suggestion to remove Mr. Trump from office absurd. I have never heard any discussion of the 25th Amendment by members of this government, and I would never expect to. McCabe was fired last year after an inspector general investigation concluded he lacked candor in his statements made under oath to federal investigators related to a leak he authorized to a reporter. His case was referred to the U.S. attorney in D.C. for possible criminal charges. Today, William Barr was sworn in as the new attorney general. He is expected to begin overseeing the special counsel investigation and eventually receive a final report from special counsel Robert Mueller. Now, Democrats have insisted that that entire report be made public, but Barr has only vowed to be as transparent as possible. Jeff. Paula, thank you.